So the first step in doing a meta-analysis is that you have to define your research question. Uh, and we use the PICO acronym for that. And PICO stands for Participants, Interventions, Comparisons and Outcomes. So you have to define your research question in this acronym. You have to define the participants, the interventions, the type of control group or comparisons and the outcomes you're interested in. So first, the, uh, and you have to do that as detailed as possible. So, for example, if you think of participants, you have, to def you have to define how the disease or condition is defined. What are the characteristics of your participants? Are there all any relevant uh, demographic differences? Do you focus only on older adults or only on women or men or ethnic minorities? Do you recruit people from the community or only from hospitals or primary care? Uh, how is the diagnosis done? Is that what patients themselves say? Do you use a self-report measure? Do you use a diagnostic interview? That kind of thing. So you have to think of the type of participants you want to include in your meta-analysis. The same is true for the interventions. So uh, what exactly are the interventions you want to include? Do you want to include psychotherapy in general? Do you want to include only cognitive behavior therapy? And what is cognitive behavior therapy? How would you define that? And where do you want to compare it with? Do you want to compare it with waiting list control groups only? Or do you want to compare it with pill placebo control groups? Um, how, is the, how were the therapists trained? Uh, how intense is it? How many th sessions do, does the therapy does it have to have? So if you have a one afternoon session on cognitive behavior therapy. Is that the same as, do you want to include that as well as a therapy of 25 individual treatment sessions? So that kind of question you have to answer there. The same is true for outcomes. What outcomes do you include? Only depression, only anxiety, only uh, worrying, or do you, do you want to have that more specified? Do you want a specific outcome measure? Uh, do you want to also only want to include studies if they have used out your outcome measure as the primary outcome? And what do you do if the studies do not define your outcome as a primary outcome? So they don't say which primary outcome they use. That, that kind of, uh, it's, uh, it, you have to know the literature in order to uh, define that, uh, that PICO acronym. But in the end, you, you will end up with quite straightforward research questions. Like here, uh, the effects of psychotherapy on depressive symptoms compared to no treatment for women with postpartum depression. It has, the, it has most of the elements of the PICO acronym. The participants are women with postpartum depression. The intervention is psychotherapy. No treatment is the comparison. And the outcome is depressive symptoms. Another example, completely different, the effects of acupuncture on rates of pregnancy and live birth among women undergoing in vitro fertilization. The participants are women undergoing in vitro fertilization. Intervention is acupuncture. Sham, the, the comparison group, is not really in the uh, uh, research question, but you don't have to be that precise as long as you know that you do this. So the comparison is sham or no treatment, and the outcome is rates of pregnancy and live birth. So this is the first thing you have to do when you do a meta-analysis. It begins with a good research questions, and all good research questions for meta-analysis use the PICO acronym. And you have to define the participants, the intervention, the comparator, where do you compare the intervention with, and the outcome you're interested in.